Okay, I've just set this up in the lathe um, on the aluminium bar and I've given it a clean up with some Webrax just to bring a shine to it. Um, I'm going to put some permanent marker on so when we mark out for all the holes for the uh, Galloway tubes. I find it easier to black it or blue it as some people say. I'm going to do it with the lathe running. Right, that's nice. Now I can mark with the holes are going to be from each hole I can use spring dividers. But first, I need um, straight lines. I'm going to put that in the uh, in the V block and use my scribing block to scribe the lines. Okay, so now I've just set up on my surface table. Um, I could do with having two V blocks, but I only have the one, so I'm just going to make do with that. Um, I'm going to mark the centre lines, so I measured from the top and uh, divide, taken off um, half the amount. The tube gives the centre height, so I'm just going to scribe first line. This height gauge has got a carbide um, tipped end which is quite handy for scribing now we have two lines okay so I've scribed the uh, center line both sides and I've turned it 90 degrees so it's vertical now I'm going to mark the um, actual lines for the galley tubes. This is quite low, this one, so you probably cannot see it. That's one done. Could be careful not to actually move the tube, and now I'm going to mark the second one. You can see they're quite faint, but the two lines there, and then the top centre line. So now I can mark off each point, and then we can start drilling. Okay, back up on the lathe. I find it easier to mark out stuff on the lathe. I've got it set up, it's nice and sturdy, it's upright. Now I'm going to start marking off the, uh, the lines. I've actually marked with the scriber so I can know what lines what. So the first first one is twenty millimeters in. Now I can uh, use the dividers to set these. Uh, I think it's correct to drawing it's fourteen and a half part. Um, I've set it up in the uh, my mill. It's not a very big mill, so it does struggle a bit. Um, I have to run it at high speed to stop the actual motor overloading, um, which is not ideal because it screams a bit, uh, and it's quite hard drilling. Now I'm drilling at nine mil, and the finish size needs to be nine point six, so I will ream it to that. Um, also, the tubes they will be splayed. Uh, swaged or whatever in in place, so that will take up any discrepancies in that. I'll demonstrate one drilling of one of the holes. Um, they are a bugger to drill, really, especially with the equipment I have. It's not very adequate. That's one hole done. Now I 
lower the Z down because I don't have enough quill travel. Just lock that. Now I'll draw the second hole. So that one's been drilled straight down. Drilled all the ten holes. Obviously, there's four, six, I mean, three and three. Um. I did drill them all in the right places, I didn't get one wrong. I double checked that I was drilling in the right spot every time. Um, so now I've just given them a little bit of a deburr, give them a better clean up later. Um, but I want to enlarge the holes now to fit the tubes. Now um, I have a taper dreamer which I can take them up to near enough on size. Some of these holes you see they're not exactly round, they are that typical triangular shape you get from drilling tube and flat sheet. Um, so, good job I really drilled them undersize for this. So, now I try the hand reamer. I have a few large tapered reamers which I could use as well to get these better. I'm just taking them up to the blue mark which is just a smidgen under size and then I'll use the, the, the full size reamer the actual size reamer to ream the holes to the correct size I've uh, had a bit of a clean up and just test fitting them they, they're a nice fit very nice fit when they get swedged in they'll be a, be a bit better as well just grab some more Some of them are a little bit tighter because the pipe, the tube, I cut these from a bit of piece of pipe I had and some of them are a little bit um, misaligned but that's all I had. But they fit very good. I'm really happy about that they come out. I'll also anneal them before I... Um, expand the ends in the, in the tube so now I need to make a tool up so I can piece of threaded rod with two cones either end which uh, gets pushed through and drawn and it draws the pipes ends flanges them out slightly what I come up with is two cones uh, I think they're 15 degrees angle Once you put a tube on, put the second one on, and a nut, and obviously as you draw up, it expands the ends. Um, I've just been, I've done three already, so we can do some more now. Just experimenting with it, the pressures. Um, I find that I can get them up tight, so that the copper does not actually revolve in the. Um, the, the tube doesn't evolve in the in the body. These are some I've done earlier, and the flux is already dried up, so um, I can reflux now and carry on. really works well. I was surprised how well that actually works. That's that bitten on now. Don't go in the new tire otherwise it's not necessary.
different move.